<laughs> right? Because when you drink English tea strictly, you will find the taste of English tea is very bitter. So a little bit of milk with English tea together could make the taste become a little bit smoother. But if you like, a little bit of honey and a piece of lemon with a green tea will be good. Honey and lemon. And especially in China, some of the Chinese will mix the green tea with a chrysanthemum. You know chrysanthemum? Yeah. Green tea with a chrysanthemum. Make it hot. Then let it cool down for three. Uh, let it cool down to the room temperature. Then add a little bit of honey in it. Remember, you have to add honey in a cold tea. If you add honey in a hot tea, it doesn't work. So green tea, chrysanthemum, cold with with honey. Drink them together. It cures the constipation. Do you have that problem? <laughs> Travel far away from your hometown, we just say acclimated. Means you are not used to do different situation, food, water, something like that. Many people get overheated inside. Then a lot of core sores, canker sores appears. So when it got overheated, actually it's a lot of fire. And it dehydrates the body systems, then of course the constipation. So green tea, chrysanthemum, cold with honey, put down fire inside, cures the constipation. I think this is very helpful tip to you. <laughs> <laughs> if something really happens, try it. It works very well. Now we can try it to everybody. Cheers. 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 Yeah. And even when drink tea, if the leaves keep in the mouth, you don't need to speed up at all. If you like, you can try to chew and swallow the leaves as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, tea leaves is not only can be eaten, but also it is very useful. For example, in China, sometimes Chinese use tea for cooking. Do you like Chinese food? Mm -hmm. But if you want to know how they use the tea for Chinese cooking, went back to California, you may check a TV show. I don't know whether you heard about that, called Yen Can Cook. Yeah. Yay! Heard about that? Yeah. Martin Yen, he has a TV show in the United States called Yen Can Cook, so can you. And on his TV show, sometimes he teaches people how to use the tea for Chinese cooking. Because Martin Yan and me, we are very good friends. Oh. But today he was not here. <laughs> so with all the respect, Yan can cook, but actually Martin Yan, he cannot cook at all. <laughs> <laughs> He's more like entertainer. He's very good at the talking and the chopping the chicken. Because <laughs> every time when I meet him, I always cook for him, but he never cooked for me. Of course, no. Uh, but anyway, he is very famous. He has books, DVDs, TV shows. So check it out. There's some recipe for tea for Chinese tea. Right? And uh, green tea now is getting very popular in the overseas, especially in the United States, because of the healthy benefit. Have you ever heard about antioxidants? Mm -hmm. The antioxidants in the green tea prevents from the cancer and aging. Even in the year 2002, do you, do you know the Time Magazine? Time. Time magazine had already released 10 power foods which contains high antioxidants. Green tea is one of them. Besides green tea, the other healthy foods are like the tomatoes, like the spinach, red wine, nuts, broccoli, oats, salmon, garlic, green tea, and blueberries. Dark chocolates, let me know. <laughs> but actually, everybody has talked about antioxidants, antioxidants. But I bet nobody has any idea about how these antioxidants work, right? So here, I will have a demonstration. I will give you a very simple demonstration. And through this demonstration, you can see yourself. How does antioxidants fight against the oxidizer? It is very simple. Okay. First, I need two empty glasses. And also, I need some rice. Asian eat rice every day because rice contains a lot of starch. Starch also it is available in bread because starch is very easy to be absorbed by body systems. But in the meantime, starch also is very easy to be oxidized. So I should have some oxidizing. Then I found this. This one chan is called dianzhu. In English, called this iodine. Iodine is for medical use if your skin is hurt. You put iodine on the skin to kill the virus because iodine is a very strong oxidizer. The color of the iodine is brown. 
But as I acknowledge, when Anga made the starch, the color of the starch will be turned black because the starch will be oxidized by the iodine. So look at that. I put iodine in the cup. Then I will stir it. And the color of the rice become black because the starch has been oxidized already. And uh, actually, every day, the empty, the empty glass is like that with the stomach. Every day we eat a lot of foods, right? But some of those foods has NAR, has been oxidized, and oxidize our body systems. So it becomes a little poison. So I put some water in it. And I will stir it. And the color of the water become very black, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what Chinese call du su, English call it toxin, right? So I give only two parts averaging. Then I put some water in one of the cup. Anything happen? Still black, nothing happened. Instead of water, I put some green tea in another cup. Mm -hmm. The color just black, right? And uh, this is not a magic. <laughs> but this, because this is the root demonstration we call chemical reaction. I just said everybody talked about antioxidants, but nobody has any idea about how does antioxidants work. So this demonstration shows you first, you will see how does antioxidants fight against the oxidizer. And also it proves that green tea contains a lot of antioxidants. I want to let you know what does really antioxidants mean. Antioxidants, they fight against the oxidizer. Right? So, this is very simple and a very funny demonstration for antioxidants. You can do it all yourself. Right? And, but I think uh, to the American who live in California, New York City, or Seattle, you are lucky. You know, there's a lot of Chinese population there. And you may purchase some good quality tea, some specialized tea houses. But unfortunately, as I know, Still, most of the Westerners used to drink the tea bags, right? For tea bags, my suggestion, you better forget about that. <laughs> because tea bags is made out of the bottom quality tea. Even the local tea farmer called a powder in the tea bags is the small sweetness. Mm. Mm. Tea dust, nothing else. Do you drink coffee? Yes. Okay, if you do, we could come get lost. Loose tea is like fresh grounded coffee beans, and the tea bags like instant coffee. I drink coffee too, and till now the best coffee I ever tried before is called Kona coffee from Hawaii. So as I know, the real coffee drink like you will never touch the instant coffee except you have to, and the real tea drinker will never touch the tea bag if I have a choice. So no more tea bags. <laughs> How long have the been staying in China? Two days. Two days. Two days. So uh, actually, uh, in the past two days, uh, you've seen that Chinese drink tea a lot. But the, the difference is, Chinese have different teas for different times. Uh, when you get up in the morning, my suggestion: black tea or coffee. And which up? Why? Your body needs energy. In that so high caffeine in a black tea or coffee stimulates your body systems to work faster. Then the green tea should be after your meal. Because green tea is good for digestion. You see, Chinese foods are all very greasy. Chinese eat a lot of greasy food. Or what's this thing? Because we have green tea. Green tea cuts the greasy, wash the fat out of the body, so it also helps you to lose weight. Even some of the Chinese, um, We'll mix the sencha, English called this hawthorn, you know hawthorn? Hawthorn berries with chenpi, dry orange zest, and green tea. Three ingredients together and then drink it as herbal medicine. What's good for? It lowers down the bad cholesterol level, we call LDL level, and control the diabetic type 2. Uh, somebody say, What's the proportion and how do I do it? Because this is a doctor to you really talk a lot. But I can't remember anything at all, right? Don't worry about that. Because uh, later I prepare such brochure for you. <laughs>
And then the brochure, it is written in Chinese and English. <laughs> it tells you how to blow the tea, how to store the tea, and then the recipe for high cholesterol and diabetes. And I will give you the recipe to your guide, and then she will give you on a bus. Let's give it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And uh, actually, I work here as a QI. QI means quality inspector. I judge the qualities. So, and this is my responsibility to let you know. How do you differentiate from the good quality and the low quality? Well, let's compare with this two. Is there any difference between these two? First, the sense they're different colors. One is lighter green, the other is dark green. Many people thought a green tea must be greener the better like this. That's not true. Dragon whale tea is made of the young bud from the bushes. So lighter color means it's younger leaves. Dark colored old. That one is what drinking now. Called it super great. You see the color is a little bit brighter. Just a little bit, but not that much. And this is the best called pop grape because this is the uh, first pick first flush in the year in the spring season. So generally speaking, high quality tea tastes milder and high antioxidants. Low quality tastes bitter and low antioxidants. So look at that. The color is bright again, right? So if we compare the best one and this one together, I think we can tell the difference itself. Can okay? you? Of course. Three tips, lighter color, better quality. Smaller leaves, the better quality, and the strongest smell, the better quality. That's not for me. You may look at, you may smell it, but don't sneeze. <laughs> yeah. A, A, C, D. A smells very strong, B smells less, C smells much less, you can smell nothing from the D. I don't smell Dr. T, your tea is pretty good, but can we purchase a tea in the U.S.? Probably you can, and not for the best one. We don't export the best quality tea. Somebody asked me, how come? Honestly, we want to export, but sorry, we just can't. Because first, high quality tea in China is not like a nest product. It's limited, so this is not for export. The second, the good quality tea in China is not cheap. It's very expensive. Sometimes it's crazy price. And then we have to work the price will be at least a double it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure nobody in the US will pay one or two hundred million dollars <laughs> So you see we want we want to export and we have a big problem in front of us. But Chinese do pay a lot of money for good quality. Like some of the Americans pay hundreds of dollars for a bottle of the good red wine. Same thing. I just said you get what you pay for. That's very fresh. But green tea should be the fresher better. So where is the best place to store the green tea? Okay. And the brochure tells you in the word for green, but the best place to store the green tea actually is in the freezer. I mean, put loose tea in a container like this. Wrap the whole container with a zip lock, that zip lock, then put it in the freezer. For how long you keep it? Five years you can keep it. But if you keep the outside, for one year it is not long. The gum means expiration, which makes the tea will lose its taste, the fragrance, and the light. So it's better than the freezer. Sure. Mm, no, we have that left five years. So this is my suggestion. You better keep it a big amount of tea in the freezer. Leave about a couple of weeks supply outside. You finish the couple of weeks of life, you transfer. You know? So you, you know, so you can finish tea slowly, keeps this thing fresh. Right. And they, uh, this is a pound of tea, one pound. A pound of tea for one person, one cup every day, 
a pound off to last you about six, seven months. But if you drink coffee, you should not. You have coffee drinks, one first and one cup every day, three weeks, maybe or less. Right? And uh, so a pound of tea goes into four boxes. Like this. Well, uh, grade A, B, C, and a D. We don't sell the D quality because that's low quality already. We'd better forget about that, should we? But what do we do with the quality of tea? You put it in the little tea packets. <laughs> we ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> The United States. <laughs> Someone said, is that a sort of a wrench? No, this is not a wrench. That, that, that's true. Every year, Japanese import a lot of low quality green tea from China, but Japanese could appreciate the tea very well. They, could, they know that's low quality, they don't drink it. The first, they make what? Cosmetics. Do you know the Shiseido? Shiseido has the green tea products line, right? It is made from this one. And also, they make what? The other is called a green tea ice cream. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah. Do you know the Hagen Dazs? Mm -hmm. The Hagen Dazs, they have green tea ice cream for sale, but the recipe of the green tea ice cream, Hagen Dazs bought from the Japanese with a lot of money. Yeah. Japanese are pretty really good. They make a lot of money, a lot of money everywhere in the UK, in the world, right? But low quality, we don't use it. So, so one canister for the grade C and it costs you one hundred and fifty Chinese money for one canister. Uh, Six hundred for a pound, which is ninety US, ninety US for a pound. Grade B, you're drinking now two hundred for each. 800 for a pound, which is $120, $120 for a pound. Grade A, very expensive. Guess how much was cost for a can of the top grade? 500. 500. Okay, let's say if somebody comes over to you and tell you, hey, buddy, I got a can of tea, it cost me a thousand US dollars. Would you believe that, sir? Yes. You are right, because that's bullshit. <laughs> 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 Whatever, how good the tea is. Where she set up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, how good the tea is. Finally, remember, tea is for consuming. Good quality tea in China is very expensive, but it cannot be expensive like that. A thousand dollars for can of tea. Think about that. It's crazy price. Don't trust them. So the can of the top quality, three hundred Chinese money. Uh, uh, and top hundred, which is one eighty U.S. dollars for a pound. But somebody said hundred eighty dollars for a pound of tea still sounds expensive. Yes, it is because that's the best. But hundred eighty dollars for a pound of tea, seven months of supply, two hundred cups. Figure it out. Each cup still cheaper than a cup of Starbucks coffee. Mm -hmm. Anything is cheaper than Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> but sorry, this is fixed the price. No bargaining. Because <laughs> yeah. government hopes that everything, especially Dragon Well tea, uh, government hopes that everything, everything must be under control, so they fix the price to prevent from chaos. And by the way, I'm going to do is take a pound of tea and get two, two little extra small ones for free with the same quality. Little one, you can give it away as a gift. But if you want to buy the tea, it's only for yourself. Remember what I told you. Put a big amount of tea in the freezer. Leave the small one in the kitchen and office. You finish the small one, take one big out to fill it up. Then refreeze. You can't refreeze. Keep on using small one, and you're going to finish tea slowly. Tea still be fresh. Right? So, four plus two is total amount of about one pound and a quarter, something like that. No one could change the price, which will give you more quality. That's it. So if you drink it slowly, if you really like it, you want to take some tea as a souvenir, as a gift, just for yourself, let me know. You have a word. Well, I will fresh pack for you right here now. Right? And of course, you can pay with it cash, American dollars, Chinese money, even credit cards. With the credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a detailed information by the Dragon Well Tea. I really hope you would know more about the Chinese tea and tea culture through my lecture. You know that, you might appreciate the tea Better than before. That's why I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you can drink this slowly. Yeah, it's
三百人，三百人民币一个，嗯，四个的话可以到八百几度，三百人，也一千二人民币一斤，那么就是说一百块钱一斤。Yes. The transportation thing. Yes. What is the question? What is it? Ah, chrysanthemum. Uh, chrysanthemum in China is kind of herbal medicine. And the, back, the regular chrysanthemum you've seen before was a big flower, right? And the, the, the Hangzhou produced the best chrysanthemum, which is the baby flower, the young bud. Yeah, but three or four pieces, you can make, you can make a cup. Put, you put, put a little bit in a cup. It smells very good. So you said you have to drink it cold huh, with honey? Uh-huh. So like ice cold or? Uh, just room temperature. Room temperature. Or just drop it in room temperature yes. water, yes, of course. And then we can drink it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you know, Aaron? I know my grandma, she's about 80, 86 years old. You know, because in the summer days, the old people was very easy to get a lot of heat smoke. So she would prepare the greens with a crisant, with an American ginseng, and some goji berries, and drink them together to prevent from a heat stroke. Uh, a crisant, a uh, one bag can just two boxes inside. Now, and uh, you keep it in the fridge to five years. And uh, one bag it costs you three hundred Chinese money, forty five US. Yeah. And then there's a hot coin. Chrysanthemum pills. Is that the uh, we, for the Chinese herbal medicine takes time to see the result. It's called long course treatment. Without it. One set like this is for long course treatment. Uh, this is an option for this. Fifteen US dollars for one set like this. Chrysanthemums for constipation. If you drink chrysanthemum alone, it's good for eyes and protects the liver. More alcohol. Yeah. So. How much tea do you usually mix with? Like a tablespoon? Yeah, tea 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 for how long? How much for one day. That's four cups. And four cups for one day. Yes. What's the combination once again for diabetes and high blood uh, Hot orange, orange zest, yes, and sweet tea. Yes. Like this. You want that? Uh, and then the green can is not. I'm going to show the green can. Uh, which way great do you want? High quality. High quality. Uh, best quality. The best one, 45 for each, and a pound 180. You got two little ones for free. 45 US dollars. That's all good. How much do you want? You want the 300 for you. <laughs> <laughs> and also the. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. You want it one pound? No. One can, right? And also, thank to uh, yes, uh, to somebody. Somebody said, "I'm I'm not a very big tea drinker. I don't want uh, a pound for me is too much. So you can take just one can, or you can take two cans and stick a little one for free. You know. Uh, so sir, do you want a one can or two cans? One can, one can of the blood pressure diabetes combination. Okay, sure.